Well, Jennifer, thank you very much for joining us to give us all this information. Absolutely. Why is it important not only to take care of ourselves during the winter months, but our pets too? You know, it's a great question. I think really it boils down to what can happen potentially if we don't watch them surrounding the cold weather, that potentially they could die, freeze to death, their water can be altered, obviously frozen if we're not watching those kinds of things. So I think just what can potentially happen is the danger. Now, a lot of dogs love to play out in the snow. How can we make sure that they're protected? Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, you really need to limit it and it depends on the weather. You know, if it's sunny outside and, and above freezing, that's one thing versus if it's five degrees, then that's another. And so if you need to limit your play times, that may be something also as far as walking, you do need to be aware that, you know, pavement can be frozen, that can be really cold on their pads. So those are the kinds of things you can take into consideration. And uh, some people like to keep their dog's coat kind of short. Is that okay or not okay to do during the winter? Ideally, you know, you wouldn't want to clip down your pet to really, really short hair because that's um, just like our clothes are to us, they're going to keep them warm. And so, um, you know, you can always use a coat for a pet or a dog if you're going to clip them down. But we would suggest to let that grow out a little bit during the winter months to help insulate their body and warmth. So when I do take my pet out for a walk, there are a few reasons to keep the pet on the leash, right? There are a couple really important ones. One is that with snow covering the ground and or if it's even snowing lightly, it's gonna impair your pet's scent. And so if they go off lead and run around, they can easily be lost. They say that there's more dogs lost in snowstorms than any other time during the year. So that's one good reason. The other is that you don't want your pet to get out on ice either. You know, if you're close to a lake and they're running around and they happen to, to go out on, on the iced over water, that if they could fall through them potentially they could of course end up dying um, so that's something to keep in mind as well keeping an eye on your pet when they're outside as well that's yes. that's good now I know to wipe my dog's legs and stomach when they come in from the from outside from playing in the snow just because I don't want water all over my house but there's another reason for that too right there is especially if you're going to be going on roads or maybe sidewalks in your neighborhood of course there's going to be chemicals on both of those areas to make sure that that it's not as icy and those can oftentimes be dangerous to pets so when they come back into the house if they lick their paws which they're going to do a lot of the time because they're wet then they would unfortunately also ingest some of those chemicals. So it's really important to be able to um, wipe them off, even spray them off if you can to make sure you get everything. If your pet only is gonna be going in your, say, driveway or your area, make sure you use something that's pet friendly. For the folks who have cats as pets, what do they need to keep in mind during the winter months? Well, we, of course, always encourage that you would keep your cat indoors, but we do know that folks will have animals that will be going both indoors and outdoors. And the trick with cats can be that if they are out for too long of a time, unfortunately, then they're going to be looking for a place that's warm, and that can mean under a hood of a car. So we always let people know that that is very possible during the winter months. So if you do park your car outside, you're going to want to tap on the hood to make sure there's no animal underneath there just trying to stay warm. And are there any other potential things that we need to keep in mind about cats and dogs and, and other pets? Antifreeze can be something that is important and that, that comes into play. You know, if your pet has access to the garage, Unfortunately, antifreeze can leak sometime on the floor, and that's something that's very sweet to the taste for pets. So you'd wanna make sure that, um, that that doesn't happen, that you clean up after your cars, or your pet just doesn't have access to your driveway or your garage. Well, this is all just great information for, for us to keep in mind, uh, to keep our pets safe during the winter months. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Thanks for having us.